Good morning, Minecraft! It's going to be another beautiful day out there in Minecraft, filled with those walking dead, giant spiders, exploding creepers, and my personal favorite, the oily-skinned Enderman. And now, without further ado, here's your host, Mr. One Wolf! Hey guys, welcome to my new show! where I'll be talking about my YouTube channel, the Minecraft community, and maybe some other random stuff. And in every episode, I'll be bringing you one community spotlight. These spotlights can be anyone who has been active in the Minecraft community and around my channel. A concerned viewer pointed out that I may have stolen the, the uh, Good Morning Minecraft uh, title for my episodes. Um, well, actually, about a year ago, when I first started making videos, and yes, this will be a, a one-year milestone for me, I started in August 4th, was my first upload. So I'm also going to say this is my <laughs> one-year one year, uh, episode here. I'm probably not going to do anything extra special other than this particular episode. But a year ago, I was trying to figure out what kind of intro or opening I could use for just my regular Let's Play videos. And the old movie from Robin Williams called Good Morning Vietnam kept sticking in my head. I couldn't get it out of my head. So when I started my first, my very first video, that's what came out was Good Morning Minecraft. This is One Wolf. How you all doing today? You know, it's just what came out. Um, I haven't looked into any copyrights on the name. There are, from what I've seen, dozens of good morning shows all, ar all across our country. And I'm sure all around the world there's these good morning talk shows. So I don't s think that anybody actually owns the term. So until somebody comes down and says, no, you can't do that. I own Good Morning Minecraft. I'm going to continue to keep using it. And the next topic is, oh yes, my name, Mr. One Wolf. Why am I called Mr. One Wolf? Well, that goes all the way back to my high school career and my high school Kempo team. Um, yeah, I actually took Kempo in high school and the instructor always called me Wolf. Just plain wolf. <laughs> um, when I started getting on the internet in the late 90s and getting into chat rooms and just hanging out with a, a bunch of people, I got into a group of people that referred to themselves simply as the Wolf Den. And at the time, I was very single. So I thought, why don't I call myself Lone Wolf? You know, single guy wolf, whatever, goes together, together. <laughs> Never mind. So, I also wanted to be uh, unique, have a unique name, something that nobody else had, and uh, there were hundreds of lone wolves on the internet at the time, just hundreds. So, I figured, why not go with a name that means the same thing, and it's also unique. I looked at the word lone wolf, and said, hey, if I drop the L off of Lone, I get One Wolf. It pretty much means Lone Wolf, but it's not the same word. And nobody else was using it at the time, so that's what I stuck with, was One Wolf. And I've been using that since about 1998. <laughs> it's been a long time. Let me think, 14 years, I think, I've been using that name. And I'm starting to see other pop up with the same name, but trust me, it's not me. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> there's there's a lot of copies out there now. Um, when I got onto YouTube, uh, it seems like there was already a One Wolf, so I couldn't use that, so I had to, to find some way of creating a channel that was still me, One Wolf, but not whoever else had created their One Wolf before. I added a mister in front of it. You know, I'm a guy. Sure, why not? Add mister in front. Makes sense. So, that's how I ended up being Mr. One Wolf. Although, in my videos and on most of my games, I still call myself One Wolf. 
not Mr. One Wolf. It's just, that's my channel name. So <laughs> I hope that clears that up for you guys. Uh, been a wolf since high school, uh, one wolf since 98, and a Mr. One Wolf since 2011, I think. All right, on to the next topic. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the Minecraft community. And as I started out, not just with my channel, but in the Minecraft community, I received a lot of help and support from the community. Some of the bigger channels and uh, more experienced Minecrafters. And with this show, I have the unique opportunity to give something back in the form of spotlights and shoutouts information about updates and news around the Minecraft community. Uh, basically to talk about what's hot and what's not. And what's been on everybody's mind recently is the 1.3 update coming out in August. For me, here's how I see the 1.3 update affecting my channel. It's gonna, uh, one of two, one of two things is gonna happen. Um, I'm either gonna update or I'm not. Well, actually I'm probably gonna go both ways. First of all, for my raw series, since it has mostly been pre-recorded, I've got pre-recorded about a third of the project done, and since I started it in a 1.2 version, I'm going to continue building it in that version. But I am also a... <laughs> One of the things I do around my channel is I put out seed spotlights for each version that comes out. I did a, a 1.0 seeds, I did 1.2 seeds, and now it looks like we're getting a new resource in 1.3, the emerald blocks, and it is my expectation that this is going to change all of the map generation. So I'm gonna be doing some more seed res research when the 1.3 update comes out and I will putting be putting out more seed videos. So that's what that's how 1.3 is going to affect me at this point. Um, I'm not going to start a 1.3 LP. I'm not going to change my LP. It's going to be the same. As for the wolf den, I'm looking at trying to finish the raw build, that giant build that I'm working on. I'm trying, I want to finish that first and then update the world to 1.3 and continue on with my Wolf Den series. Um, I left off in the spring season. I had planned to have a summer season, but it looks like the raw episodes are going to take over the summer season, so I will pick up with the Wolf Den again in the fall. Um, because of the trading system that is coming out in 1.3, I also intend to migrate some villagers into town, and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll see. And I guess the next thing I can talk about is some of the other shows around my channel. Um, there is, of course, my Minecraft shows, uh, The Wolf Den, where I am taking a map from the seed wolf den and building a a town on it the town is actually somewhat based on another town in another video game it's um so the wolf den town is kind of kind of nordic kind of uh medieval so i haven't made any more episodes from that series recently i am currently producing a series of videos where i am recording an entire build from start to finish on camera and it's taking me far longer than I expected to actually put any of that out. So once that series is done I will probably pick up my Wolf Den again and continue on with that. I do have lots of plans. Um, I have two more sections of the city that I want to build. I've currently built one quarter of the city and the Everything on camera is the second quarter of the city, so there's still the third and the fourth quarters of the city that I want to continue building on. Um, we'll see how those go in the fall, but for now, the Wolf Den is on hold until the what I'm calling the Raw series is completed. I have been playing another video game other than Minecraft. It's been called Skyrim. I started out playing Skyrim right when the game first came out in November 
the response I got from it was mostly negative. Um, my views were dropping, my subscribers were dropping, so in the end I stopped uploading those videos. Something strange happened a few months ago and all of a sudden my Skyrim videos just took off and are now getting more views than all of my Minecraft videos combined. And yeah, it's a complete shock to me. I have no idea why or how this happened. So I've decided to pick up my Skyrim series again and continue on with it. In my series, I'm not following any of the main storyline. I am following a lot of just random side quests and some of the guild quests. I started out with the the Dark Brotherhood or the Assassin's Guild. I moved on to the Thieves Guild and now I'm working on quests in a particular... I'm currently working on a particular region also known as a hold, completing all of the random quests or side quests in that region in order to impress the leader to a point where he will offer me a house to buy because I want to buy a house in that town. So that's what I'm doing in Skyrim. Um, some of the other random games that I've been playing have been um, Dungeon Defenders. I want to put out some Dungeon Defender videos based on certain strategies for certain maps using certain characters. Um, I'd like to go and put some of those out. Not sure when that will happen or if that will ever happen. If I get a lot of response from, hey, I'd love to watch some, some Dungeon Defenders, please put some up. I'll, I'll definitely put some out. Um, some of my good friends, my YouTube buddies, like Zul'jin and Cerberus Black and Armitage got me into playing uh, Diablo 3, so I've been putting out a few just random nonsense videos from Diablo 3. They're not, they're not any tutorials or special builds, it's just us goofing around. So I do play some other games other than just Minecraft, but it's not a great deal of other games. Um, Skyrim and Diablo are just games that I have... They're series to games that I've been playing since the early 90s. So I was really interested in picking them up and thought, why not go ahead and record a few episodes? Since I have been back after a long break, I really want to focus on improving my channel and making content that you guys want to watch. So uh, leave some comments, some suggestions, tell me what you guys want to watch. Um, if I'm already making it, if you guys want to watch some more, let me know about the pace of my uploads. I've recently been uploading about one video every day, and if that's that's uh, too much for you guys or not enough for you guys, definitely let me know. I'm definitely here to put out videos you guys want to watch, not just here putting out videos for myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. These, these videos are my videos. You're not allowed to watch them. <laughs> You're not allowed to like them either. They're only my videos. <laughs> no, this this is about you guys, so... Definitely tell me what you guys want to see, and I'll see what I can do about uh, putting out more of it and uh, better videos. Also, I'll look forward to a bunch of changes that are coming out. There's going to be a lot of new changes around my channel. Um, it's time for me to, to put up a new background. This one's kind of getting old. It's been up for several months now, and I'm looking for a new one. So there's that. I'm going to be changing up my, my sub box, um, trying to get in contact with everybody in the box, and we'll be looking for active, active members or active networking in the sub box. So the more interactive other channels are with me, the higher up into my sub box they're going to be moved. Um, I've recently had Honey Plays in there, and due to some personal family issues. She's not going to be active anymore. Um, also, the Mind Fiend is back, and he's moved into a good, uh, a higher slot on there. So, you know, the more the more people uh, keep up with me and I keep up with them, the, uh, the box is going to change around quite a bit. So look for that. Um, if you want to get into my box, that's great. Um, 
send me some messages. We'll get, we'll keep in touch and we'll see how it goes. So keep an eye out for lots of new changes coming out in the next few months around my channel. And now for today's server spotlight. This guy was once a moderator on my own server and now he's joined his own community. Welcome, Mr. Israel. Oh. Hello, Wyrock. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. Where yeah. is this place? It's it's everywhere. <laughs> no, no, I'm. This is for posterity, prosperity. On I'm starting a new show called the uh, Good Morning Minecraft Show, and okay. I'm going to be doing spotlights on a whole bunch of different stuff, uh, different people's channels, servers, whatever. So, this is your server. So yeah. tell me about it. Well, it's not mine. It's my friend is actually the one that paid for most of it, and uh, and is the admin, quote unquote. So right. maybe he should tell you about it. Yeah, I would. I would love to speak with the admin and let him know that I'm recording his server. <laughs> All right, uh, that's me. Uh, well, we all just wanted a uh, a server to play on. We I used to run it. Uh, from my computer and then I'd play on it uh, at the same time that really wasn't working out as we got more and more people it's another upgraded so, home server <laughs> yeah those are awesome <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> yeah and then so we found uh, MC Pro Hosting oh cool uh, they did the uh, Minecraft public server the uh, fan uh, server uh, about a uh, yeah the fan server oh cool and then uh, they had the cheapest prices of anyone that I found it with them. And yeah. But the rest is history. Awesome. Anyway, this is uh, my house. This is my your house. house. Yes. Awesome. Well, technically, my girlfriend built most of it. Uh, I just <laughs> did the inside. But, you know. Is, is this girlfriend uh, pre or post art spore? Uh. Post. Okay. A well post. Okay. So recent then. Yes. Uh, this is, I, it's, I, I don't know, I like it. It's kind of like a mansion-y feel to it. Paintings and whatnot. Awesome. Fireplace. Which isn't it. Jukebox. Yeah, where are we going next? Uh, I, uh, the nether hub is right next door. Well, I'd like a little, little sh show around what's here. I see some pretty awesome stuff already. Yeah, uh, these are just all people we know in real life. Well, at least most of us know in real life. Uh, and we just, you know, give them the IP and they come on and build. This is a friend of ours named Jason. He had, like, the, the Chinese pagoda thing going yeah, on. Yeah, I've never actually done any Asian work myself. And then it turned into, like, a pagoda skyscraper, I guess. I wow. don't know. <laughs> the inside's like a puzzle, too. It's, oh, wow. It's really confusing. That's, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> yeah. So who's this guy? This is uh, Edmund. Hey, Hoffman. admin. Hey, hey. You got PvP on or, or yes. not? Okay. Yeah. So, so I won't swing my 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 crappy little sword. stick. <laughs> that would be uh, Kevin singing the Tobuscus Swing My Sword song. <laughs> Great song. Great song. It is a good song. Uh, yeah, he went off to a, a mushroom biome and brought a bunch back with him. Oh, nice. I have to sell them on the black market. Black market mushrooms. <laughs> Way to go. He's also got a bunch of villagers trapped inside. So whose house so is this? Uh, I can't... How do you pronounce his actual name, Cole? Uh, Steve Killer of Creeps or something like that. This is Steve name. Killer of Creeps. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to be great for uh, 1.3. Yep, that's what he's waiting for. Mm -hmm. We're all kind of waiting for it. I could use some uh, dark wood steps. I know that. Light wood stairs. Light wood stairs. Those two. And moving right along, down the street, we have our friend Taco Dudes. Oh, this looks like uh, Planetoids. Uh, custom, oh yeah, this the is... custom map Planetoids. I never got to play that. I've seen uh, screenshots, but I've never actually played it either. Just, just the Augs cast. Those are the only ones that I've seen do it. Didn't get as much love as some of the other ones, I guess. 
Yeah, he has a thing for spheres because Minecraft is all anti circles, so mm -hmm. he feels the need to build only circles. I wonder if he can fly now if you want to get a better look at things. Yay, flying! Awesome. So is this primarily uh, a survival or mixed survival, yeah, it's, creative? It's, survival. it's all legit, yeah. Yeah. That's why we really haven't built too many amazing builds yet. Because we're still kind of getting set up and everyone's yeah. mining. Yeah. Except the record shop, because, you know, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah record, record, shop is pretty cool. record shops are amazing. We never had one of those in my, on my server, did we? Uh, not that I recall. Nope, we never actually did. I... You were there so until the end. The I was. I was so sad to see it go. I had my lovely mountain base going, but I started a new one, so it's okay. Oh, this is modern. Yeah, this is, I gotta say, uh, this is, well, yeah, Tony's. It's one of my favorites that I've seen in Minecraft. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. I like the, uh, the mix of wood and stone. Yeah, and it's just got a funky shape. Definitely modern art. Yes. He's got his jukebox also. Jukebox also. Pointless right. button. Gotta push it. <laughs> Everyone does. <laughs> Gotta push the pointless button. So where did you go up or down? You went up. Okay. Are you up this. What do you say, Kevin? Oh, it's like Nicole. Oh. And he's got his, I don't know, his sleeping quarters are awesome. I just like this house. I think he googled, like, Minecraft houses and just kind of... Wow. ...with a mixture of everything he saw. In my texture pack, this, this wall here looks amazing. Which the... it's it's got all the uh, alchemy labs, and then above yes. it there's a painting, and in my painting is a set of kitchen knives. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> For you know, cutting the herbs and whatnot, <laughs> <laughs> or the people, or the people. And then he's got this ridiculous enchanting room down here uh, through the painting. Through, oh, one of those through the painting things. Oh, yeah. I got it. Okay. Through the painting things. Ah. Okay. It's it's kind of crazy. It's not done. I don't think the ceiling has been finished. But you you don't need the ceiling to see how crazy it is. Oh wow! This is a lot of. I like this effect though. This is really. Oh cool. yeah. The change. To Whoa. Mark. Yeah, it's kind of a little. Eccentric. This is not. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. And since we're down at this layer, it's dark in the... With the void fog, yeah. Yeah, the void fog is making it all dark in the corners. Yeah, oh. he's, uh... This is definitely, I think, the biggest thing. Cole, would you say the biggest thing on the server so far? His enchantment room? Uh, yeah, either that or my basement. Yeah, you should see Cole's basement. It's right. still very much a work in progress. But it, it, at least it's not lined with bookshelves. <laughs> that's a lot of bookshelves. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. That's like 60 enchanting rooms worth of <laughs> bookshelves. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely more uh, more than my library. I would say more than both my libraries. Next, I guess we'll go visit Hoffenboffen slash Cole Basement. The Mr. Hoffenboffen. Yes. Yeah. The I'm great Hoffenboffen. I'm trying to figure out where that... I've heard that name before. Yeah, he might have come on. Uh, I like, never came on. Like a movie or a book or something. Uh, it's just a nickname. One of my I, I play soccer, and one of my teammates came up with that <laughs> somehow. Uh, awesome. A variation on my last name. Yeah, my wife just made a reference to Harry Potter, so. Cole, are you down here somewhere? Yeah, I'm down here somewhere. No. He's with me. Oh, okay. Well, we're just going to infiltrate your basement. I went all the way to the bottom. Yeah, it's uh, still being worked on. It's only got like, one functioning room at the moment. <laughs> but it's cool. cool. Yeah, it definitely looks very cool. Where'd you go? I'm right here. You just jumped in the water. Oh, hey. Oh, you're... Okay, that's why I couldn't see you. 
Uh, where is the, the potion? There it is. This is the one room that's been it almost done. Piston doors. Oh, lots of piston doors. Please yeah, don't use like materials are very hard to gather. Uh, people kept using the uh, potion making. Potion. <laughs> yeah. What do the levers do? Uh, it's kind you of can, you can ethos. Right? It out. It's it's a potion lab. No, it's not ethos. It's a designed by C and B Minecraft, I believe. Okay. And uh, it uh, you, you push the button for the ingredients uh, for a certain potion, and the levers uh, can either increase the duration, uh, corrupt the effects, uh, make it a splash potion, or you know things like that. And you store all of the uh, ingredients in the stitches up top, and then uh, when you push a button, it gives you everything that you need for the certain potion that you push. Oh. So that this is all the supplies for a splash potion of fitness. I or, get or, it. Or, okay. We do have an ender ender also. Oh. An ender ender? An ender ender. That's what I call it. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, let's go to the record shop. Record shop. I think it's this way. We're trying to fix it. So oh, is everything, yeah. is everything uh, pretty uh, confined to a small area of town? Uh, well, it started that way. A couple of us have ventured out uh, now. I'll show you some of the ventured out stuff in a second. See, there's stuff away from town now here, Whoa. too. I got it. It's all N good. Nasties. Oh, it's this great big giant. It looks like a note block, huh? Yeah, there's a record. It's a record. Here, you can fly again. And it's just because you died. Oh. Yeah, you take a record, and then you put it in there, and then it switches. And then all the lights turn on. And you can jam out while you select your uh, tune. But yeah. It's pretty cool because of the, the lights. So do you have? Do you actually have something that generates records? Uh, uh we no. just go out at night. I hunted for four hours once. Oh, okay. <laughs> they just hunt. That's what I thought you guys meant by We're having a, a record shop. Is you actually had a mob trap that generated records? We should call no. uh, work on that. <laughs> yeah. That's I what I that. thought you meant. Okay. Too bad no one ever comes in here. Who's making the jungle town? This would be my girlfriend's jungle tree house. Oh, we, we have got to take a look at this. Yes, we definitely should. This looks amazing. I always wanted to make one of these, but I'm too busy working in my own world. These two were actually built first. These two rooms over here. Okay. Oh, Lovely. kitty! Kitty cats! I gotta get a multi-cat texture pack. I think I've only got oh, one, one cat. I've got two or three dogs now, but only one mm -hmm. cat. So. There's actually a... Oh, if you like cats, I think she has like a cat playground down here somewhere. <laughs> okay. Let's go find that. If I can so climbing up the... There's a way down here. There's some more stuff. That's... Oh, the cat room. Yes. Is this where you went? That's where I went. Okay. I thought I saw a bedroom over here, so I was trying to... Ooh, pool! <laughs> oh, wait, no, we are not in the same place. <laughs> okay. Oops. I've I'm, lost my guest. I'm way over here. On the, the island. Oh, really? This okay. video is probably going to look like complete... Ugh. <laughs> it looks like white noise, almost. I gotta do something about the end sky in my texture pack. Is it not? No, it just looks horrible. It just looks like that, like, fuzzy snowiness from TV, that kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Oh, Ender Pearl. Sweet. Oh, there's, you'll get lots of them standing here for a couple minutes. <laughs> you go up through here, obviously water, so that they have less chance of teleporting. I'm gonna turn your sound down. Oh, it's fine. It's Probably, gonna, yeah. Gonna get loud. And this is the same design Doc uses, right, Cool. Uh, yeah, it is. And the same design from the Minecraft server. So you flip this. Oh goodness. Oh. 
I'm, I'm falling. Uh, flip this lever. Pistons go up so that oh. they don't die all the way, and then you can kill them for experience. Yeah, this is definitely a, a dock M machine. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, this is going to be it for me. Um, I'll definitely look forward to coming back later. Yes, hopefully, we have more stuff. Uh, oh yeah. It's not a very big server. Oh, here he comes. Here's the Hoff. Yes, the Hoff. The say, good, the say goodbye, Hoff. everybody. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Everybody. Okay. For no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we were, we were recording that entire time? No. Yes. I didn't even know that. Oh. I, yeah. I did, I did announce yeah. that, hey guys, I am recording. I did tell I you in the chat before he got on, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. No. End the pro. Hey man, I have Bane of Arthropods five. I will take you down. <laughs> oh really? Cold will absolutely kill you. And knockback too. No. Oh. oh. Got beat to a pulp by Wire Rock with a diamond sword. My friend shot Wire Rock in the knee. <laughs> in the knee. Oh.